Natalie, now, for some reason, you've been barking up a lot of trees for these last couple of weeks, okay? Since you done barked up Camilla tree, you done barked up Tzatziki tree, okay? You done barked up Charlemagne tree, you done barked up your husband's tree. But with this one right here, sis, I think you done barked up the wrong tree, okay? Because Miss Jocelyn Hercules Hernandez will rip that tree off the ground by the roots and whoop your ass with it, all right? Let's talk about it, baby, because this is a big deal. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome back. <laughs> What's up, y'all? My name is Big Mouth, and this is my channel. If you have not already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you turn on my post notifications, baby, so you can be alerted when I upload a new video, girl. Let's get into this shit, okay? So look, baby. Now, this is a few days old, but I wanted to speak on it just because I just watched Jocelyn's Cabaret last night and I just feel like, you know, I kind of found some things, okay? Some indiscrepancies and I feel like I, I found some links between Natalie's animosity towards Jocelyn and what's going on here. So... If you guys don't know, if you're not familiar with it, over the last couple of days, you know, Natalie uh, has been getting into it with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Well, last couple of weeks, really, because she got into it with Krishan's sister and her friends. She got into it with Camilla on social media. You know, she's into it with Charlemagne right now. Her her husband allegedly just got into it. You know, so, uh, and, and, and now her and Jocelyn got into it a couple of days ago as well. So, um, I don't know if it's like some kind of ploy, you know, to stay relevant in the media and stay in the blogs and stuff like that. Or if Natalie is just genuinely, you know, this problematic and getting into it with everybody. But with this specific case with Jocelyn, I was so taken aback when I saw it. Cause I'm like, okay, it's more to this story. You know what I'm saying, baby? I got to dig a little deeper on this one because Natalie's show and Jocelyn's show have been being compared for a while now. You know, with um, let's be for real about it. Natalie's show brings in the higher numbers. Natalie's show is kind of the catalyst over there, Zeus Network. Baddies is is Baddies is the catalyst for Zeus Network. That's the big show. Okay. Um, right underneath that, I think uh Krishan and Blueface's show comes in second, and then Jocelyn's show comes in third, and then Bad Boy is somewhere down there. But with that being said. There's always been a comparison between Jocelyn's Cabaret and Baddies. And the reason why is because both of the shows have the same kind of dynamic outside of the stripper stripper activity and the dance dance choreography. It's pretty much the same show. You know, a bunch of bitches fighting in the house, getting drunk, fucking sucking and licking all over each other. You know, so very much that energy. Um, uh, Over the last couple of days, though... I've been noticing, well, last couple of weeks, since Jocelyn's Cabaret actually aired, I've been noticing uh, effort on Natalie's part to kind of drown out the media and, and shift attention away from Jocelyn's show and onto Baddies East, even though Baddies East has not came out yet. You know, Natalie, uh, along with the, the powers that be over at Zeus, have been releasing snippets and behind-the-scenes footage for the last couple of days, before even before they started filming, they was releasing these snippets, just trying to get people buzzing on the Baddies East drama, trying to get people tuned in to it. But my whole thing is this. We got Crazy in Love and we got Jocelyn's Cabaret on right now. Okay, now I am a fan of Baddies, the Baddies brand, because it's so, hmm, how do I put this? Baddies is so raw as far as, you know, the, the women on there, the, how they are with their emotions and their actions is very much so, you know, real. It's not, very, it's not contrived. It's not premeditated for the most part, to my knowledge. So that's kind of why I fuck with Baddies. Now, I don't like how y'all over at Zeus is kind of trying to rob Jocelyn of her moment Season four of Jocelyn's Cabaret is Jocelyn's moment, okay? These next two months or three, two and a half months, three months, I don't know how long y'all gonna be airing this show. This is Krishan's time, Blueface time, and Jocelyn's time. You know what I'm saying, baby? We gotta, we gotta be equal, okay? We gotta be fair when we're talking about this kind of stuff. When Baddies was on, when Bad Boys was on, y'all gave them the full promotion rollout. Okay, y'all gave him the full promotion rollout. All of the drama that happened between the cast members behind the scenes while the show was airing was discussed. The cast members was going live every week, arguing with each other, giving us drama, giving us inside, spilling tea, all of this kind of stuff. But this season of Jocelyn's Cabaret, we barely see the cast members going live. You know what I'm saying? The tea is barely getting posted on y'all page, all of y'all uh, uh, tea pages. It's just real weird. You know, outside of the weekly 
uh, uh, post to try to get people to go subscribe to Zeus to watch the show that y'all usually put on the neighborhood talk in the shade room. You know, they pay the blogs to post about the shows and stuff. Besides those blogs, besides those um, posts, we don't really see anything about Jocelyn Cabaret in the media like that. It's not really being pushed like the other shows are being pushed. And I'm just going to be for real. Jocelyn's Cabaret got some real good drama on it right this season, baby. It's really good personalities, really good energy, and really good storylines. It's really good editing, really good filming, and it's a really, really dope project. And I feel like, you know, Natalie's hating on that. And the reason Natalie's hating on that is for a few reasons. The first reason why Natalie is hating on that is because Jocelyn's Cabaret, the production quality of Jocelyn's Cabaret, I feel like it's better than that of Baddies West. Okay? The filming, girl, when we was watching Baddies West, no shade, bitch. Half the time, Krishan was walking around with a goddamn camera in her hand, okay? An iPhone on a GoPro or something else filming this show. Like, Baddies West was, like, kind of lackluster when it comes to the filming and stuff like that. Now, when you go to Johnson's Cabaret, baby, camera angles on point. Camera quality on point. Film crew on point. Production crew on point, okay? I don't know why, but that show is really being filmed at, like, a higher production quality than baddies was and, and, and as we all watching this show natalie's sitting at home watching it too and i think she getting stressed on her chest about it and you know she feel kind of played you know she feel like jocelyn got something that she didn't get and uh i, I think that's why she's trying to roll out her show prematurely by releasing all of this behind the scenes stuff to kind of overshadow and drown out the attention on jocelyn's cabaret she won't it whisper quiet over there and she want all the attention on Baddies East. And that's just real, real selfish, Natalie. That's real petty of you. You know what I'm saying? It's real bitchy. And I feel like it's childish. It's beneath you. You too old for that. You know, we grown as fuck, baby. You damn near 40 years old over here getting into tit for tats with bitches over TV shows. You know what I'm saying? At this point in your life, honey, you should, you should own your own network for real, bitch. You shouldn't be over here worried about who getting more clout on a motherfucking network that you don't even own, sis. So... I just feel like that's real pathetic on your part. Another reason why I think that Natalie is, you know, uh, uh, lashing out against Jocelyn is, well, before we get into that, okay, I'm going to just play the clip. I'm going to just play the clip so I can get y'all all caught up on what the fuck is going on. Okay, so they was in the club the other night and Natalie had some words for Jocelyn. We didn't know at the time when Natalie said this, why she was saying this, but we figured out afterwards it was a response to Jocelyn's post on Instagram. I'm going to read y'all the post. So Jocelyn posted, real story, real ladies, real drama, real purpose, real talent, real emotions, real feelings, real tour, real reality TV. This Sunday night hit different. Link in bio and subscribe right now. Jocelyn's Cabaret. So in response to that, this is what Miss Nunn had to say. Yeah, shade room. Hi, it's me, Natalie. So check this out. Besides the fact that Mickey's in my DM right now, so the fuck is Cardi too? And guess who else? Carla. And guess what they say every Sunday? Natalie, drop that batty shit. I can't lie. Watching Zoo's Network every fucking Sunday for fucking bodies, bitch. Hi, Jocelyn. I love you. Now, Natalie, girl, now I'm going to get back to why I feel like Natalie is doing all of this, okay? Because it's not about that post. You know, I feel like that post, Natalie tried to use it as like a catalyst to, to do what she's been feeling all along. You all, you've been having animosity towards Jocelyn for some time now. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why Natalie has animosity towards Jocelyn is because Jocelyn does effortlessly what Natalie has to try to do. Okay? Natalie has to cultivate viral moments constantly. Okay? She got to come up with storylines and put herself in different storylines and beef with her cast members on her show all goddamn day and all of this stuff and stir up little fake shit and leak stuff and all of this to get clout. And Jocelyn don't have to do that. Okay? Jocelyn just got three months of clout or two months of clout off of beating a bitch ass behind the scenes at a Floyd Mayweather concert. The stuff that Jocelyn do naturally and naturally get clout off of, Natalie has to 
pump fake it. You got to act hood. You got to play like you this big, bad, tough, rough, tough, rock, uh, rock, rough and tough on my Afro puffs ass chick. But Jocelyn is actually that. Jocelyn actually run the girls. Natalie, you are one of the girls, okay? When it comes to your show, baddies, you don't get no respect from your cast members. You know what I'm saying? Roly slapped you or Roly beat you up. Krishan slapped you. Girl, Tommy slapped you and disrespected you. Yanked your wig off backstage at the Chris Brown concert. At the reunion, girl, Stunner Girl was telling you to shut up talking to her. She ain't Scotty. Shut up. Go over there. Stop talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Lemuel was telling you to sit down like you was a 10-year-old little girl. It was giving real disrespect. Natalie, you don't run the girls. You don't. You said Krishan was fired off your show. Bitch was back the next episode. You couldn't fire Roly when she whipped your ass. She was back the next season. Like, you can't do nothing. Tommy disrespected you, put her hands on you, yanked your wig off backstage at the Chris Brown concert, and went on, made a whole song about your husband's sexuality. And Lemuel still showed up on her birthday with $50,000 and tried to get her to come back to Baddies for uh, Baddies East. And she turned y'all down. So... With that being said, Natalie, I think it's safe to say you ain't really got as much, you know what I'm saying, oomph, moxie as you as as you and other people who like you would love to think that you have. And that's not me being mean or rude to you, Natalie. That's just me being, you know, I'm just I'm just looking at it from a bird's eye view. Jocelyn, the girls on her show are scared of her. I don't give a fuck how they feel about her, bitch. They don't disrespect her. You know what I'm saying? Because they fear reprimand from her. When Jocelyn kick a bitch off the show, they really get kicked off the show. When Jocelyn hit a bitch. They get, they, they get got, you know what I'm saying? And things like that. I'm not trying to make Jocelyn out to be this, this, this Terminator ass chick. Cause she not, you know, Jocelyn can take an L too. Anybody can get their ass whooped. But at the same time, Jocelyn carries herself with an assertiveness and a moxie. You know what I'm saying? And a confidence that Natalie, you just don't have. And that kind of confidence comes from years and years of hardship, years and years of actually living in the hood, actually doing hood shit, getting drugged through the motherfucking slums of life. And having to beat the fuck out of everything and everybody that gets in your path and your way to success and finally winning. That's kind of what that come from. Now, you didn't go through that, okay? You never had that hardship or that struggle. Now, I know you went through some stuff. I know, you know what I'm saying? You, you, didn't, you didn't did a little thing, a little thing strange for a few pieces of change. But Natalie, honey, if you had never made it on TV, if you had never uh, been, you know, on, on Bad Girls Club and I run LA and never did baddies and all, you probably still would have been okay. Okay. You probably would have had you a nice little office job somewhere sitting down, you know, with a bunch of white friends, you know, all of that weird shit. You probably would have lived that kind of lifestyle, Natalie. You probably would have been okay. So yeah, you don't, you, you, you don't have it, sis. You know what I'm saying? And I think you jealous of Jocelyn because of the, 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 the personality she has naturally, the way people respond to her naturally and the things she don't got to do for clout, you have to do. If Jocelyn decides to no longer do the cabaret, she's still going to have her career. She's still going to have her reality TV career because unlike you, Natalie, no shade. And this is like, once again, this is just, I'm looking at what I'm seeing in the media. Jocelyn is still getting picked up for other reality TV shows. I don't think nobody outside of Baddies is really beating down that Lena and Dora to get them to get you on their show. No shade. Like I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't think that's what's happening, baby. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think Jocelyn will be okay outside of Zeus. I don't think you'll be okay outside of Zeus. And I think Jocelyn will be okay because her TV personality is stronger than your TV personality, and she also has her music career. And that's a lot of stuff to be jealous of. And and it's like. If you wasn't jealous of her, Natalie, you wouldn't have said nothing, okay? Because if she was really on a level that you're trying to make her seem like she on, like she really beneath you, why even address her? Why speak on it? Why say anything? Bitch, you grabbed a mic, cut the music, and did a whole motherfucking uh, uh, standoff in a club. During your booking on your show. You're speaking about Jocelyn and her show during your booking on your show. You press, baby. You press like an easy button, sis. And it shows. And Natalie, sis, I just feel like this. You are starting to feel the insecurities of being a boss, but not getting boss-like respect. You are a boss on this show. However, you got to blend in with the workers. You going on trips and, and, and cookouts and dinner dates and motherfucking brunches here and there and little out of town trips every weekend with the baddies like they your best friends and you actually supposed to be their boss. 
which is why they don't respect you. Then you flip over to Jocelyn's show and she don't even go move the girls in the house because she, she feel like that's beneath her, okay? She knows how to keep a, a line between her and the girls to make sure the respect is there, okay? And things are in order. But you, Natalie, you keep blurring the lines between yourself and your cast members to the point where the, 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 the fans don't even respect you as an EP no more. You got everybody in the audience calling you old, telling you to get your old ass off that show. You don't need to be on that show. You embarrassing yourself. We don't tell Jocelyn that on her show. And Jocelyn's two years younger than you. Y'all damn near the same age. So what's good for what's good for the geese is good for the gander or something, whatever, whatever the fuck they be saying. Okay? So if it's okay for her, it should be okay for you. But the dynamic is different. Your dynamic on your show and Jocelyn's dynamic on her show, two separate dynamics. And it works for her. But yours don't work for you. So, Natalie, I just feel like you need to do some inner work um, on yourself, my line. Like, you really got to look into yourself and decide how you want to carry out this whole you on baddies versus you being the boss of baddies kind of thing. And try to get yourself in a place where you're actually being the EP that you keep screaming that you are. Because for you to keep saying, I'm an EP, I'm an EP, I'm the owner of this and the owner and the operator of baddies, blah, 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 blah. But you literally behave, move, affiliate, and associate like a, a Zeus cast member. You can't get mad at what comes behind that. You can't get mad that the fans don't respect you. You can't be mad that other EPs don't give you that respect. You can't be mad that your cast members don't fucking... They're not scared of you. They're not scared to put their hands on you. They're not scared to call you out your name. Call you a bitch. Okay? They're not scared to dog you out. They're not scared to beef with you online because they know they're gonna get a they know Lemuel gonna give them their job back. Hell, Tommy beef with your ass for six months straight, and Lemuel was showed up at her birthday party after she said fuck you and fuck Zeus with fifty thousand dollars begging on his hands and knees to get her to come back to the goddamn network. So clearly don't nobody give a fuck about your feelings in the situation. Okay? So, sis, that's up to you. And if you go back to my video that I said when I said Natalie Nunn is done at Zeus, you might want to rewatch that video, bitch. Because honestly, to tell you the truth. You never going to get the respect that you deserve as Zeus. Because your spot has already been carved out for you. You've already been disrespected multiple times on your show. You've already been disrespected in front of the cast members by Lemuel. You've already been sunned by Lemuel. You've already been sunned by Stunner Girl. You've already been sunned by Krishan. You already got sunned by Roly. You already got sunned by Tommy. It ain't happening, sis. If you stay on baddies, you're going to stay in the same spot where the cast members is literally coming on. Coming on. You got a bitch named Taseki that came on your motherfucking show to beat your ass. That kind of shit don't happen to Jocelyn, boo. Mm -mm. It don't happen to Jocelyn. So, yeah, that's all I got, baby. Um... On the whole Jocelyn and, and Natalie thing. And this was more so just like a PSA to you, Natalie. Like, sis, it's going to... Good luck, baby. Good luck. You know what I'm saying? You're doing wonderful as far as the ratings go. You're doing wonderful. But it's, it's, more, it's more than that, Natalie. It's more than that. It's more than that. Okay? You got people named Charlemagne calling you a clown-ass bitch. It's about respect. You 30 fucking 8, Natalie. It's no longer just about the clout. It's about respect, boo. And you're not getting that. So I don't know what you need to do, sis. But this street shit you're trying to portray, it's not it. It's not it. Okay? This, I'm the queen of the baddies. I'm the baddest bitch. I, I, I'm big sister to all you little hoes. But all y'all gonna be my besties and come everywhere with me. That whole, no. No, baby. You gonna have to step up and be a boss. Step up or step off, Natalie. And I know you see the disrespect. I know you read the comments. I know you watch the videos. Okay? I know you watch the blogs. Because I've seen you in my motherfucking comments quite a few times. Get your shit together. Because I want more for you. I see more for you, Natalie. I don't see this for you. I don't see somebody who's been in the industry almost 20 years getting disrespected like this. And having to constantly feel insecure and calling out different people because you calling out Charlemagne for canceling your interview was your insecurities okay you trying to start this whole vendetta thing against Jocelyn because she made a fucking Instagram post about her show 
is your insecurities. And your insecurities are bubbling up. Because you can't face the facts. You moving like an employee. But you demanding to be respected like a boss. One plus one don't equal two, sis. That's all I got, baby. I ain't got no more. Y'all make sure to donate to the Kasha. And I'll come back to y'all today with some more tea because we got to do that mint review. We got to do that mint review. We got to do the mint review. <laughs> But I'll see y'all later, baby. Bye. Girl, I'm so ghetto. Bye.